Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading channel, Wednesday edition. If this is the first time visiting our channel, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome. If you are a subscriber or if you've been here before, welcome back, we appreciate you revisiting. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Some time ago, I don't remember exactly, Lupita, maybe you do, but we bought our first our heart tool. Mm -hmm. And ever since we've bought some additional tools, and we really find them very useful and very good quality tools, right? Mm -hmm. Which initially surprised me because it's a Walmart brand. Right. In fact, I was hesitant to buy the first one, right? I mean, we bought it primarily for the channel because everyone was talking about hard tools. And, and you bought it because it was on clearance at the time. Right, to I bought test it very it. cheap. Yeah. But since then, we bought some additional hard tools. And today, we're going to do a first look and, and mini review of one of them. And that is a hard vacuum that you see here that uh, has been used how many times now? Oh, half a dozen, um, yeah, give or take. And at this point, uh, Elpida has been very impressed with it, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want to come and show them a couple of the features here, sure. it is a canister, as we can see. So it is the canister variety. To release it, you do that. It comes on and off very quickly. Um, the release for the bottom is down here. That's going to be the only detractor for me thus far is that you have to, instead of like a release at the top to open that, you have to actually manually go down and open it. Um, but it does come with a HEPA filter um, and it reattaches very quick and easy. You can hear that positive lock. The power button is very obvious here. Something else that's really cool, it has a brush roll engage or disengage. So if you don't want the brush roller to be beating on your floors, you can disengage that. Um, the hose does come out so that you can, uh, you know, use that on your stairs or what have you. Is that what comes off? That does come off, but that's not it. You actually, that stays engaged for you to vacuum. I think that's to clean it. And then this part actually comes out and comes off. And then it's got two attachments. This one and this one for the crevices. This one is actually called a pet brush sort of thing. And it's to rub against your carpets or whatever to get the pet hair off. Um, it was pretty effective when I tried it on my stairs, uh, which was really nice. Um, something else that's really cool is it has headlights. So if you're, you know, looking under your furniture or um, in a slightly darkened room, it's going to light up and you're going to be able to see what you're doing. Excellent. Um, and it does have a pretty nice long cord. Um, some vacuums, you know, have longer, some have shorter. This is, this is a really nice length. Very good. So we're going to use it today to clean our cars and we're going to tell you because a lot of times we buy nice home house vacuums but they don't really do a very good job at cars, right? Mm -hmm. And cars can be very challenging. There's carpet and matting and, and we have animals. Well, and, and me in particular, I have a Vizsla mix and so if anybody who has a Vizsla knows that it's called glitter and man, is it everywhere. And so that's one of the challenges I want to see if this vacuum can overcome today. But that says pet grade. So. Yes, it does. It does indeed. Pet grade. And again, this one does come with a HEPA filter. Um, so that's really nice. And so we're going to see what if it can the meet the challenge. Control? It says suction control here. So, so I you think, can yeah, change it? Yeah, you can change it. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Less or more. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Yep. So let's use it. And then there's this like glitter everywhere here. And if any of you has pets, you know this is part of the fun of pet ownership, right, Elvida? Yes, indeed. But we'll see how well or oh, not did well. You see that? <laughs> what? So here. No. This is how easy this comes out. Okay, cool. And then uh, I'm gonna put on the attachment here. Oh, there's the little paw print that tells you that it's for pets. Stuff. Okay, cool. So that's pretty cool. Right now it does not look very impressive. However, once we change the nozzle, it became much more impressive. And overall, you need to use the right nozzle for the right surface. And we were using the wrong nozzle here. But overall, the, as you're going to see in a moment, the vacuum did extremely well dealing with pet hair in the car. It's not getting it off here very well. So, More suction is better. Yeah. Let me lift this up and see. We also did not have the, the suction dialed all the way up and that's another mistake we did, it was not the fault of the vacuum. 
So make sure all the settings are correct for the best result. Again, this is probably the most challenging thing for any vacuum, right? I mean, yeah, for sure. Right here, especially in the copious amount that we have here. Yeah. Admittedly, it's been a while since I vacuumed out the car. Okay. Actually, I think that's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Um, let's try it on the floorboards a little bit, maybe, and see. Because that's going to have some stuff in there. We do realize that vacuuming is not exciting, but there is no other way to show you a before and another picture doesn't show either the effort expedited or exactly how the vacuum works. So forgive us for showing you something boring here. It is getting it, it just takes a little bit of work. I do think it's in part with our Dyson though, I don't think it's any worse. To be honest, I've been really impressed with it inside the house with carpets which is yeah. why i thought it was going to do a really good job here um it's taking a little bit more work because i think it's not not really designed to be used in a car but for what it is i think it's doing a pretty decent job yeah i, I think i mean it's not a miracle but it's a pretty pretty good you know, work yeah yeah um definitely it'll it'll just take a little bit of time but it for inside the house it's been great yep so I tried the other uh, attachment here to see if that would do any better, and it was pretty dramatically quick and easy. To do. Yeah, definitely you can see. And it's really getting that fur off now. Definitely does a very good job. Yeah. Yeah. This side wall is a little more challenging, but you can see that this, this attachment made a huge difference in, like, I guess, focusing the suction power of and the vacuum. And that came with the vacuum, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of the two attachments. Okay, excellent. So here's the passenger side of the vehicle. It's admittedly not as dirty as the driver's side was, um, but I didn't do a before on that one, so I wanted to show you this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum it out and you'll see what kind of a job this can do on all the debris that comes in your car. Here it is uh, after maybe five minutes of vacuuming. See it did a pretty decent job. And even got some of the stuff off the seat as well. I think the heart uh, it's a pretty decent job for what's supposed to be an inside your house vacuum uh, but it works on the car so overall now that the car is vacuumed out you can see some extra standing on the seat i didn't know was there that's great but we're seeing that overall it did a really great job pet fur if any of you are pet owners know one of the hardest things to get out of your vehicle seats. That's just dirt at this point that needs to be washed out, but it did vacuum up all of the debris. And overall, I'm really pleased with the job that it did for this. Uh, so the newest addition to the fleet came with some extra candy. <laughs> Um, the truck was fairly well vacuumed out. The seats are stained. We got to do something with that. But in the meantime, when we were doing the conversion, so we would have all of our cargo space, we discovered that they missed underneath the seats here. So I'm going to pop both of these up and vacuum them out with the heart and see how well it does. <laughs>
clearly it looks like uh, not only the pet hair was something that it can Dinosaur. work <laughs> well, but we found out that uh, in cleaning the car from normal dirt, this does a very, very good job, right? Yeah. Just the normal debris that you pick up comes right out. So here's all the junk that came out of both of the vehicles. It's actually quite a bit. And it does a really good job. Well, friends, this is our sort of episode for today. Overall, I am very happy with the hard vacuum. What about you, Rupita? Yeah, I've been very pleased with it. And in fact, we've been pleased with every hard item we've purchased. Mm -hmm. And we have several right now in our arsenal mm -hmm. that we use very routinely, almost in every project. Yeah. So overall, and we used it for both pet and normal uh, car dirt. Mm -hmm. And we found it out to be very, very effective in cleaning, correct? And again, we didn't show it in today's video, but in, in the house on carpet, it's very effective as well. So we'll give the hard vacuum a thumbs up, right? Absolutely. And we will purchase again more hard equipment. You will probably see them in the And channel. I like it so much, I bought one for my son. Yeah. So that's how much, which Alpida doesn't just buy things, you know. It's right, like, right. But we've been very pleased overall. If you liked this episode, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, two thumbs down. Share, like, subscribe. Let us know what else you might want to watch in future episodes of the Urban Homesteading Channel. From Dr. Wizard, Alpida, and the Urban Homesteading Channel, stay safe, friends.